Hey guys, don't forget, we're giving, doing a giveaway for a Crydex blowout kit. Uh, jump over to this video, like, comment, watch the video for the details on the dump pouch, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel when we hit 75 subscribers. We're going to do a random comment picker on the original uh, review video on the Kyde or Crydex blowout kit, and that winner is going to get, I'm going to get a hold of them. We're going to send this out to them so they can have a pretty cool piece of, of gear for their belt to help them out. All right, guys, back to the video. What's going on, guys? Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with just a, an update um, and a small review. So uh, I did the review on most of the components of my battle belt except for two. So the trauma kit, which we're still going to get to, and then I told you I'd have to come back and finish the review on the Safari Land flex drop holster because I didn't have my holster for it yet. Um, well, good news is they came in, so we're going to do a review on the holsters themselves and just show you how the rest of this belt works. So, the as I showed in the other video, uh, the Safari Land flex drop has the QLS mount and then I had the fork but I didn't have the holster for on the fork yet so this is a holster from Cook's Holsters got it mounted up so all you do it's just like a giant buckle you just slip it right in and I'm gonna hold it here so it doesn't snap too loud it locks into place giving you that that uh, lock in on the, the holster itself but if for some reason you're running multiple weapon systems, you're you're out of the range and you have a couple different pistols lined up that you want to shoot and they all have this setup, you literally just reach underneath the holster, squeeze the two tabs, and the holster comes out. So these are the two tabs that you'll squeeze here, and it's as simple as that. And then to put it back in, line your tabs up, it snaps in. And then you can run whatever pistol set up for this weapon system. So let's take a look at the holsters themselves here. Uh, like I said, these are going to be from Cook's Holsters. And I got a couple others here. So let me set this belt down. So before we start here, my weapon is empty. Uh, so this is my Smith & Wesson shield with the... Olight PL Mini 2 Valkyrie um, and the problem with this is is the shield itself doesn't come with a rail that you can actually attach a light to so I went through Recover Tactical got the adapter so I can start mounting a weapon mounted light on this thing and the hardest part about that is finding holsters uh, and that's where Cook's holsters come into play so this was actually the first one I received from them just a plain paddle holster but it's made specifically for the Recover Tactical Rail and the PL Mini 2 Valkyrie. Um, and then obviously you've seen the one that I just got. The one that, that's on the belt, it is this holster. It did come with the paddle on it, but it has extra holes cut in it to mount to the Safari Land QLS system. So that was the nice thing is they do do custom mounting. They do Safari Land and I want to say they do RTI as well. You can pretty much ask them anything you want, and if they can do it, they'll do it. Um, I did ask them to put a put mounting holes for a uh, level level three hood for on that one. They couldn't do it, so no big deal. I just have to drill the holes myself if I decide to get it. But here's the other holster I got from them. So this is their their belt slide holster. So two pieces of Kydex with the wings. This one is your taco style holster as well as the one on the belt. So let's talk about the holsters here. Um, so they have, like I said, it's Cook's holsters. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, they have a bunch of different options for holsters. They have paddle, which is the one my pistol's currently in, the belt slide option. They have an IWB, they have a boot, holster, they have a drop leg, a velcro purse holster, a velcro holster, a purse holster, 
the trigger, just the basic trigger guard covers. So they have a lot of options. They have competition cuts as well. So if you run um, any of the IPAs, is it IPA? I believe that's it. If not, I'll correct it somewhere on the screen here. If you run any competition, they do have a cut and a holster built specifically for that as well. Um, they have non light bearing as well as light bearing options, obviously, uh, with the shield, a very uncommon light bearing. Uh, and they do make it for multiple different lights as well. So the PL Mini is just one of the options they have for the shield. They have a ton of others and you get a discount with the, if you go through Recover Tactical to get their rail system. Uh, I believe it's like 10% off with Recover Tactical's code. Uh, custom molded color options, there's hundreds of them. Uh, these are the, this is what they call Super Cam on Tan. This is kind of like your multi-cam-ish color. It's the closest thing they have. They don't have the trademark multi-cam print. You can get carbon fibers, you can get base colors, you can get all kind of different crazy prints. You can get flags and things like that as well. Um, you can get custom cants. So they have a, a zero and a 15 degree cant available on some of the holsters. Attachment options, you can get uh, the wings, you can get the quick, the, I call them quick clips. So it's, it's the wing, but it's cut. So you can just kind of pop it on and off. They also run uh, some of the fabric clips as well, the metal clips, um, your belt, your basic belt clips for your IWBs, things like that. Level two retention options are there. They do do a leather, a leather thumb strap or thumb snap. So for this one, you can get it with the the optional leather strap that back here would have a thumb release. I don't like that. I want to put the um, level three or level two hood on it that has the, the thumb the thumb switch and it flips forward. It's spring loaded. So that's options. They have options or that's that's an option they have is for the leather strap. Uh, they have options for threaded barrels. So if you have a threaded barrel they will cut the bottom of the holster out for you so that you can actually put your comp or your, th or your thread cover on it or through it. Uh, suppressor height sights. Uh, like I said, they have competition cuts. They don't also, they also don't just make holsters. Um, they have uh, badge holders. So for police, military, if you happen to be an MP and you do have a physical uh, crested badge, they make Kydex badge holders with the like necklace like uh, kind of like the dog tag necklace, the little beads, gun mats, uh, EDC dump trays, or just some of the uh, EDC dump trays, EDC wallets, flashlight carriers. Those are just some of the things that they make. Uh, holster wise, price range right around fifty nine ninety five, and then obviously you add a little bit more depending on certain options. You can add in thread locker, and if you want extra mounts and things. They can charge a little bit more for that. They didn't charge me anything extra to get the QLS mount because it's just a couple holes is all they had to drill or drill. Uh, the one thing I really like about Cook's holsters though, they don't charge for the custom prints. So they don't actually charge, like if you go on to, I can't think of another company offhand, but most custom Kydex companies, when you go on, you can get black free of charge. But if you want multi-cam or you want uh, zombie green, anything custom colored, they have like a step grade where they step the price up depending on what the custom print is. Your solid colors might be $5, but multi-cam or super cam might be $25. Cook's Holsters doesn't charge a thing for their custom prints, which is nice. Um, I didn't want just a plain black Kydex holster. I wanted something one to match my my battle belt and two something different. I've had black holsters from Alien Gear before I put the light on. I ran Alien Gear holsters and they're all black. You, you can't get them in anything other than black. Yeah, it matches the pistol, but I just still think it looks better. Personal preference, but you can get any color you want really. So 
that's going to be the holsters from Cook's holsters. Like I said, I got three of them here now, just to show you some options. Uh, the paddle holster, the paddle's actually really nice on that too. It's just got these two big wings on the bottom. I've seen these paddles around a lot lately, especially with Kydex holsters. Uh, the belt slide, both of them are very, um, they're real durable, they fit real nice. This one does have the, get my hand out of the way here, does have the curve to it so that it conforms to your body a little well or a little better. And if I can get my pistol out of this one, um, all of them, well, I can't say all of them. So the slide holster does not have adjustable retention. It's just kind of the retention of the Kydex. Obviously you can heat it up and change that a little bit, but I, I would definitely recommend against it. Once you do put it on your belt though, the retention is enough. This thing ain't falling out. But at the same time, you're not gonna have trouble getting it out of the holster. Um, the paddle holster, however, these two screws down here have these rubber uh, spacers in them. If you tighten these down, it will change the retention on that. So the taco style holsters do have adjustable retention. And that's gonna be the same thing as my, my holster on this belt. It's, like I said, it, it is literally just a paddle holster. Um, it's a taco as well with the adjustments. So you just slide that in and it's done. I'll get you some updated clips on the range belt here, actually set up and on. That way you guys can see where that holster kind of sits on my leg. Um, and we'll go from there guys. All right, we'll be right back. All right guys, so here you have it. This is what it looks like with the belt on. Um, not in any kind of range gear that I would normally wear, but this is where it it holds the pistol at. So, you know, my, my arm length, my reach is the bottom. Literally my fingertips are at the bottom of the holster, but you know, this is comfortable. This is, you know, right here is where my old holster used to sit. So it sits up high. This is comfortable. Reach down just like this. And it's right there. You know, quick, easy access. So you're out on the range, you run around. Your pistol's right there, no problems. So that is the the update on the Cook's holster. Well, the review on the Cook's holsters, and then the update on the drop, the Safari Land Flex drop mount. Uh, now that I got a good holster on it. All right, guys, that's all I got for you here today. Later.